Hey everybody, welcome to Nation. My name is Jersey, and you found it. This is WCR Nation, the greatest podcast about window cleaning produced by me on the internet. Anyway, you're here. What's up? I appreciate you. If you're new to the show, check us out. Hopefully it doesn't suck and you have a good time. And you're like, oh, this wasn't too terrible. I'm going to go back and watch a bunch of the old episodes because that's what they are out there. This is like episode 30-something. So there's a lot of episodes out there. It's a weekly podcast. Go check out old ones and uh, hopefully enjoy it. Thanks for stopping by. This is available via iTunes, uh, Google Play, SoundCloud, and also TuneIn. So if there's a media that you want us to put it on, just let me know. Um, shoot me an email and tell me where you want it, and we'll put it there, man or ma'am. Anyway, if you are somebody in the nation, one of the cool kids, somebody who watches the show religiously, and um, you comment, you subscribe, you thumbs up every video, what's going on? It's because of you that I could do this show, so thanks for checking us out. And I apologize in advance, but my voice is still awful. So um, <clears throat> bear with me in my coughs and whatever else. It's going to be a bumpy road. But if you are on top of the cool kids, one of the elite, well, somebody who has me put in their orders, order supplies through me, big or small, man, thank you. Thank you. It's because of you that I can eat food during meal times, <laughs> so thank you, thanks for uh, doing that, and if you'd like to be one of the epic elite, and uh, put your orders in through me, or let me put an order in, or anything, please, please don't hesitate to call me, or shoot me a text, 862-312-2026, I got a lot of loyal people out there who really enjoy the show, and they allow me to uh, put in orders for them, and they shoot me a text, and say, hey, it's in my cart, Listen, truly, genuinely, I do like to make a lot of jokes, but genuinely, uh, if you're ordering through me personally, it's huge. It's huge, huge, huge. I really, really appreciate it, guys and gals, so thanks a lot. Um, I am a sales rep for Window Cleaning Resource, like I said, so uh, just having that preface, my email, josh at windowcleaningresource.com, or the number again, 862-312-2026. There you go. Um... I want to give a few shout outs. Every week we do a few shout outs for people who have interacted with the show um, and just want to give them a shout out, say what's up. First off, Window Joe, man, what up? What up? Um, also, Ben from Pureview Window Cleaning. What's going on, Ben? Uh, Kevin Roberts, what's going on? Man, haven't talked to you in forever, so I'm glad to talk to you again. Kyle Shelley, another one, man. I don't even know. If you watch the show regularly, but what's up, Kyle? It's good to talk to you again, stranger. And winner, winner, chicken dinner. This week, the winner is Aaron Rudy. Aaron, man, you won. What's going on? Uh, so glad you guys uh, come in and comment. If you want to win, Aaron just won $50 credit to Window Cleaning Resource and the all-coveted swag bag. That's a shirt, the pin, the stickers, the blah, 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 the whole thing. All you need to do is comment to this video on YouTube. We pull a winner every single week. So if you're listening to this uh, via podcast out there making some money, what's up, man or ma'am? I really am appreciative that you uh, listen. And uh, if you want to get in on this action, go to YouTube, search Window Cleaning Resources YouTube page, and find the Nation episode for this week and put a comment in. That's all you got to do. Thumbs up it too. That'd be super appreciative. Tell me anything. Tell me you like the show. Tell me you hate the show. Tell me you like turtles. I don't care. Um, just comment and uh, like I said, make sure to thumbs up. And for the guys who just text me and say, what's up? Good show. You guys make my day every single day. So thank you very much. So all that's out of the way. Today we're talking about emails. I know. I know. Emails, it's a weird subject, right? It's not its not something people really think about too terribly often. You get them. You get them from us, Window Cleaning Resource. You get them from uh, everybody, right? But usually they're spammy and you only open them if you need something from that particular company. Or if you know there's always coupons in there. 
uh, or coupons, right? You're going to open it and you're going to save it, print it, whatever you want to do. But emails are huge. Emails are now. They're today, right this second. They are bigger than mail. 100% my opinion. Bigger than mail. Emails are huge. Why? Is first off, your email is going to be sent to somebody who gives a dang about your business. Because you got an email that way. If somebody's interested and they give you their email, that's a qualified lead. That's huge. You can't do that with EDDM. You can't do that with direct mail buying a list. You just can't. But email, you can. And email is free. The best kind of price. Free. You can get a a service called MailChimp. Uh, if you've heard of MailChimp, um, a lot of people use Constant Contact, but it's like 15 bucks or something. I don't even know what the price is right now. You can send me what the actual price is here in the comments. But MailChimp is free unless you do like a crap ton of emails, like a ton, thousands, then they charge you. Um, but uh, for us, most of us, MailChimp's great. And even if they did charge you and you're sending out thousands, it's such a benefit. I would, I'd pay whatever they're asking, right? It's super, super, super dialed in. It's super targeted. Um, people can opt out whenever they want. They don't have to open them. So email's a non-invasive, right? A non-intrusive. It's not in your face. You know, email's just there. The best part about emails on that side of it is that people don't have to open it from a consumer standpoint. There's no pressure to open it. An ad, they at least have to look at it and then throw away. But with an email, they don't even have to look at it. Our goal is to make them actually open the email. In emails, it's just like EDDM, I guess, or mail in general, except for this is trackable, is you need to have the email opened. You need to have them open the email. If they open it, that means they have interest in it. And there's people out there who will open an email 10, 15 times. Truly, 10 or 15 times. I don't know why they open it that many times. Something in there they're interested in, right? But you have to make that tag, that initial subject line, super important. But let's talk about the process of email in general. First off, you have to rake. You have to get the emails. There's a couple really good ways that you can do that but getting the emails that's the first step right before you even have an email you need to get the addresses the best way to get an address is to ask for an address we do on our satisfaction forms like i've talked about before super simple half sheet of paper you know was our price good you know give it a rating uh, one through five five being the best one being the worst blah 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 three simple questions what's our price compared Would you refer us? And did you like the service? Whatever your questions are. And then I have a notes section. But underneath that, I have a section, email, signature. And I'm telling you right now, people will give you their emails. They will give you their emails if you just ask. Just put it out there. Say, hey, we do uh, an email list. I'd love to send you some coupons and uh, freebies and things like that we send out. Can I have your email? Oh, sure, absolutely. Because they know it's not invasive. They know that if it sucks and they don't want to look at it, they just don't look at it. But getting the emails are huge. Now, don't go out there and buy an email list. Just don't. It's not worth it. You're getting unqualified emails. You're just getting quantity at that point. That's dumb. That's dumb, in my opinion. You know, if you could get emails that were given to another window cleaner if they're selling their business or something like that, that would be worth it right? Because then you're getting qualified emails. But it's the same thing when all these people come out of the forum groups and the Facebook groups and they go, hey, here's my here's my page. Can you like it? Well, why do you want me living in North Carolina when you're a California business to like your page? It doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything. You're not advertising to me. It just puts the pool bigger uh, of where actual qualified people, you muddy the waters. Same thing with emails. You want to have a qualified email. Email should be your number one um, purposeful like pull. That should be the biggest thing that you get in your day-to-day is an email. 
from anybody, everybody. Anytime you have an interaction with a customer, every touch that you have with a customer, you need to try to get their email. And what I do in those emails is I build out multiple lists. Now I have a snow list because we did snow removal or do snow removal in Wisconsin, not here in North Carolina. And um, I would do specific lists. Now you could send to all of the lists, but that's where when you have them specific, I have people in my snow list because snow, when it comes time to snow, I have to send an email saying, hey, it's time to sign your uh, sheet up again, right? Build a list however you want. When you build a list, it allows you to laser focus even more. And the key to email is laser focusing. It's getting that so specific. The reason Facebook marketing works is because of the laser dial. The same thing with uh, email. Get as focused as you can. Okay. Now you have the email. That's great. I got an email. I'm constantly getting emails. I got great qualified emails. You have a list of hundreds of people who are interested in your service. This is huge. What do you do? Well, now you have to make an email. And if you are part of the WCRA or PWRA and you have a, a membership, you have access to email templates. Super awesome email templates. Now, look at the different emails that you get during your day. Some of them are super graphic filled. Some of them are just basic beta, you know, text. Well, once the email is open, it's time to sell. It's time why you have a good website over a crappy website. It's why you don't use Comic Sans on anything, right? You want it to be visually appealing. You want it to be awesome. So making an email not too cluttered, but awesome is key. But before they even open it, you need to have a subject line. A subject line should have a degree of teaser and strike interest. If it just says, um, you know, XYZ window cleaning, well, that doesn't make me really want to open it, right? But if it says, you know, your windows are dirty, here's something to help out. Or, um, you know, um, um, your neighbor just got their windows cleaned. Are you going to let them get away with that? Or something along those lines. These are just crappy ones I'm pulling off my head. But something where it's a little teasery, but it catches your, your line. It doesn't sound super spammy, right? It doesn't say, valuable coupons inside. Because nobody cares. Like Unless they're looking for window cleaning, which they may be, you're going to have a crappy open rate. But you want that title to grab them, create interest, and get them to open the email because that is the key. Because once it's open, it's like having people come to your website. Once people are on your site, now it's time to sell them on your site. Now, they saw that title, they fell in love with it, they got curious, they opened it. Well, now it's time to sell them. Now it's time to show them what you got. Don't go crazy like some of these guys who do these vehicle wraps. I know, it's off subject to the vehicle wrap thing. They go in to get a vehicle wrap and they put every single dang thing that they offer and all their warranties and logos and, and it's just giant snafu porridge of just crap. It's just like marketing vomit all over the side of their car. Because you ruined it. You ruined it. You lost people. Right? You lost people. They need to be able to see quickly and clearly what it is. So if you're going to have images, keep them to a minimum, right? A bunch of big houses, that doesn't do anything. My house isn't big, right? So either is little Jane Doe's house. Her house isn't big. Oh, you guys only like the big ones. No, we want all of them. So don't have necessarily that. I had one of my best pictures that I ever had, which, again, we get into tracking and that type of thing. You could track pictures and see what really gets interest. Was a picture from a bottom of a ladder of a guy cleaning a window. Zoomed in on just the window and the ladder. Background's gone. Just ladder, guy cleaning window. You couldn't see if it was a big house or a little house or a commercial property even. You couldn't see, but it conveyed a message and I could overlay it onto anything, right? And it was a cool perspective, you know, it was just interesting. But something simple like that, right? If you get an email from WCR, if you're on our email list, Thanks. I mean, obviously, it's uh, pretty good. Uh, we get a lot of interesting things. Keep you out 
to up to date on things, right? But it's just simple pictures. It's not whole page. It doesn't take 30 minutes to load. It's just simple pictures. You want to see what a zero pure? Boom. Talk about the zero pure, but there's a little image. Right? That's what you want. Nice and quick. Bullet points are best. You just want to be nice and quick and to the point. Now, I found that putting coupons in an email is huge because I got a lot of them back. So when you print it, when you get a coupon and people print it, you can actually track it because they hand it to you, right? So doing that uh, coupon is very, very awesome. Now, remember with coupons, uh, dollar amount is better than percentage. So 20 bucks off any service, $50 off any service, whatever you want. Don't make the coupon too high. And I'm going to tell you why. If you make a coupon too high, then people think that your service is too high. If I said, I'm not going to tell you what I'm selling you, but I'm giving you a coupon for $1,500 off. You're going, whoa, how much money is this thing that it's $1,500 off, right? You're not thinking it's $1,600, you get most of it off. So if you give them a coupon for $100 off, they're going, whoa, these guys have to be crazy, right? But if you give them for $20 off, not bad, 20 bucks, 20 bucks. I could do whatever the price is probably from there. They know you're not giving $20 off of a purchase of a house, right? So it's all perspective in the coupons. So do a $20 offer or another one that's really nice that I like is do full house, house wash, window cleaning. Our pricing would then start at like $2.99 for a house wash under certain square footage paired with windows outside only at say $149, which we could do for $99, but we'll do for $149 because we're adding extra bonus is $449 for a house wash uh, window cleaning on the exterior of 20 windows or less and we'll give you a free gutter cleaning or something like that, right? Give a free gutter cleaning. Give free deep sealed track cleaning. Give free screen cleaning. Whatever you want, but do something that they may want to print this off. The more interesting it is once it's there, the better. So definitely, definitely look into adding something like that. And it's all about the opens. So getting people in and printing things off. And that's the first, the biggest battle. Now, like I said, if you are a WCRA member, you use a template. They work amazingly. Amazingly. If you're not a member, it's open back up to new membership. So think about joining in WCRA, PWRA. It's definitely worth it. Um, but uh, with emails, the one thing that people tend to not do is test their emails. Now, just like any marketing piece, you need to go ahead and um, test the pieces. What piece works best? This one's got red and this one's got blue. Which one works best? Because if, you, if you're not honing that in and getting into that laser, you're just flooding it with crap. And you're going to have crappy results. So you need to test them. Test those emails and see what really works better. Don't be scared to change something that's so stupid as the background color or the the name on there, uh, like the um, uh, subject line or a word in the subject line or moving the words around, you know, test anything and all of it, split it and see what works best. You'll start honing that in and getting it. So split test, test it, test and test again. It's really, really important, especially in emails because emails will be so targeted forever. Really, really will. So <clears throat> test those as much as you can. Now, um, you got the emails, you brought them in, you got the email, you got the subject line, you got this, what, you know, what am I going to put in the email now? Well, on top of a coupon at the end, which I always did that. I really like that. On top of that, what are you going to talk about? <clears throat> what gets people interested? Well, seasonal is a big one. If it's winter time, maybe talk about plowing if you do it if it's getting before fall and you want people to start calling gutters are on your mind if it's spring what are your main services right figure out what it is that you time wise would convey to people and put that in the email emails are time sensitive because when i send it today it gets there today so if there's something going on right this second send it out if it's sunny today or it's been raining for three days but the sun just came out, 
I've sent emails like, oh, finally the rain is done. It's instant. It's instant. Play with that. And uh, seasons, gutters, uh, new services, old services, reoccurring customers. I've done ones like that where I've sent something out saying, you know, about being a reoccurring customer. Here's $20 for you just to schedule with us again. Hey, it's coming up now. Uh, we'll be doing our main spring call list coming up in a, in a week. Call today to book the best appointment before we get our big influx or whatever. You know, you can put whatever you want. Make it matter and don't make it a kind of cookie cutter across the board, general scripted out of the can kind of thing. People know that. Make it personal. When you're making an email, you have your subject line, you have your email that you're sending it to, now you have what's in the email, you have whatever kind of coupon you're going to be putting in there, you need to make the email like you're sending the email to you, to one person. If I said something right now, all of you, thank you for everyone who's, I'm talking to the whole group, but if I say to you. Hey, thank you for always choosing us. I really appreciate you letting me come to your house, you know, and making it specific to you. Now you can feel it. Now you can feel it because we can't feel being part of a mass, but we can feel when somebody's talking directly to us. And that's where the personal side of an email, because you got them to open it. They're looking at the stuff, what gets them when they're reading it, that you sent it to them, that you sent it specifically to them. That's the big, the big conundrum. And that's why all the split testing is so stinking important on all this. It really, really is. Once you have that dialed in, man, you can, you can make a ton of money by doing the whole kind of email thing. But now you got all of it. You're personable. You have the message. You have the subject. You have all that. How often are you sending it out? Well, I have to say, I don't feel like with email that you can really, 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 really piss people off too terribly much. So I've heard some guys send it out two times a year. I don't think that's enough. I think you could send something out once a month. I think you'd be all right. Now, if you sent it Monday, Wednesday, and Friday of every single week, yeah, you'd probably lose people. No one cares about window cleaning that much. I mean, we do, right? But you have to remember you're talking to somebody who's getting their windows done. Best case scenario every quarter or every six months, right? So sending an email out so stinking frequently is just going to be stupid. It's just going to waste it. And then when they unsubscribe, you've lost that email. That email was worth something and you just lost it because now they unsubscribed. So don't get them to unsubscribe. That's the biggest key. Now, sending something out monthly allows you to Schedule out if you want. You can schedule these out. There's different programs actually in MailChimp. You can actually schedule out emails so they'll launch on their on their own. It would be amazing for you to go ahead and set it up one day right now this time of year for the whole year, wouldn't it? You never have to worry about it. Your emails would just go out. All of a sudden, you get a bunch of inboxes one you know one day a month. Every month, you know kind of what it is. If it's April, I want to talk about, you know, um, with the weather, I'm getting everything coming in. Let's do this. Spring is the time. Spring is here, blah, blah, blah. Middle of summer, it changes out. August, you know it's gutters. Winter, your snow. You can kind of merge them. Always putting window cleaning first during the busy time. You can do whatever you want with these, right? If you do all at once in a year, you're not really split testing. So, do this after you get kind of a little bit more experience with things. But setting it up on an auto re- reoccurring thing once a month is 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 huge. Just getting it out there. Even if you do an email, which takes you all of an hour to put together, if that, you click one button, it sends to everybody. So do it all so that it's relevant at the time of and just do it. It's just like any of this stuff. People always ask branding or what can they do? You know what you can do to better your business? The the best thing you can do for your business is to do something. And that's where emails are. It's free. It's free and it's easy. And it gets people to come and use your services. So think about emails. If you haven't done it, emails are where it's at. So 
If you got any ideas or any suggestions, please, please, please put it down below here on YouTube. I'd love to love to hear from you or text me any show ideas for the future. I'd love to hear that. And like I said, if you want to be one of the Elite Nation members and want to put orders in through me, I genuinely appreciate if you shot me a text at 862 312 2026. Uh, let me know what we can do for you. Big or small, it doesn't matter. Just here to help. Uh, definitely do that. Uh, thumbs up this video. And like I said, comment down below if you're watching this on YouTube so you can win $50 in a swag game. Because it's cool. And if you're still watching, kudos to you. But we have new sticker sheets coming out sometime soon. We should have those here probably in March. Um, that's going to be pretty epic and I'll be able to send those out. So starting in March, we'll be able to get those out. So thanks again, guys and gals, for watching every week. Appreciate it so much. Until next week, go out there and be epic. And thanks for watching.